The most contentious political fight of the day at the Capitol happened discussing changing North Dakota State Employee Pension Fund. State representatives voted today to close the Deferred Compensation Plan under ND PERS and replace it with a defined contribution plan. Legislators say the pension fund is currently running nearly a $2 billion debt. It also makes a $310 million deposit in the state money over the next two years to help pay down some of that debt. House Appropriations leaders say if investment returns f fall short, ND PERS could run out of money in as little as 30 years. It's easy to say, well, I'm going to vote no for this reason or that reason. The tough choice is to vote yes and to put cash infusion in and address this problem now. Right now we have approximately half of the number of people currently paying in that are withdrawing benefits. That number will tip. We will have more retirees than members. The bill passed would also pay another $70 million in the 2025-2027 biennium. 